hello guys welcome back thank you for watching this is another monthly fashion report for the month of february this one is going to be rather hefty because february oh, february which by the way i always spell wrong because i miss out the first r um what was a very busy month for me work-wise had lots of projects come through they've been in the works for a while and they all came to a head in february um so they've got quite a lot of gifted items to go through for this month anyone who is new to the monthly fashion report a quick overview is that i share everything with you that i have acquired throughout a month clothing wise and then do a commentary on some of the pieces that i've been wearing the most also let you know if there's been any bad purchases or any things that i've acquired that i don't like when i say acquired that would be gifted and either gifted just as gifting with no sponsorship behind it or gifted as part of a paid project um, which might be from YouTube or from my blog or from Instagram and as we go through each item I'll make it clear where where that sponsored work has been placed and um, these videos aren't ever sponsored just to be clear it's always been like featured elsewhere if that makes sense um, and yeah it was just a way to hold myself accountable for how much I am consuming and also being transparent with you guys about it so without further ado like i said we have lots of things let's start with an item which i have forgotten to get out and um, i did a project with max mara and um, with yeah with a uh, weekday by max mara weekend sorry by max mara not weekday um around their new handbag which went down a storm on instagram i think maybe because it's quite reminiscent of the bottega veneta ones which are incredibly popular and look a bit like fortune cookies uh, this one has a really nice popper and then fits loads in. It's super different for me. I really, really, really like it. Obviously, is isn't going to be an everyday handbag. It does come with a chain strap that you can add on to it. But even that being said, I don't think it would look as great as a, a worn crossbody as it would. Just clutching it. Um, I think this is going to be a great holiday summer bag um, and somebody is texting me and one that yeah I will get more use of out of the summer but it's beautiful. It's that nice woven material, something really really different which I like a lot. So this like I said was a sponsored post that I did on Instagram with them and I also got to pick something to wear from the collection. I picked this trench coat which I have no word of a lie worn almost every single day since um, so again, this is from the Weekend by Max Mara range. It is a beige trench coat, but the perfect shade of beige. With tortoiseshell buttons, you'll see better in the cutaway, I'm going to do an absolute dreadful job of showing you here. But it also has sort of buttoned side vents, which I've kept buttoned up, um, but you could unbutton them obviously. Um, it's so simple, but the shape is just beautiful. It's just like a really straight silhouette like there's no fussiness to the trench at all it's just like a classic trench um even it does have a belt a belt around the waist but it doesn't cinch it in in any way whatsoever um it's just gorgeous and the finishing of it is beautiful like this the details like the way there's this inner panel for where the buttonholes live um it's just it's just gorgeous and i'm so 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 chuffed with it I had been wanting another beige trench for a while but I hadn't been allowing myself to get one and then this came into my life at the perfect time and like I said I've been loving wearing it. So that was the Max Mara project that I did. I also did a project with Amazon Fashion which is a blog post and some Instagram content um, and for that I had to pick two outfits. So I picked from brands, they have so many brands on there, it's crazy. But I picked from brands that I already knew that I really liked so that I could talk about it. One of the things I ordered did not turn out well. I, I don't have them anymore, but I ordered the Doc Martin brogues, um, which are very similar to these, which we're going to talk about later in the video. Um, I got the ones with the yellow stitching and I accidentally, I didn't realise that a men's seven doesn't convert to a women's seven. So I ordered the men's pair um, and then obviously they were absolutely huge. So I'm going to insert a photo because I took photos in them. Uh, but obviously mentioned all of this in the blog post. At no point have I been like, these shoes have turned out great because you're never going to see me wear them again because they have already been rehomed to somebody who they fit. Um, but it did make me want to maybe order them. These aren't them. I don't know. I'm holding them like that. In with the all black, they do them without the yellow stitching, so it's just got like the black gum sole, which I think is really nice. Because as well, once I had the yellow ones, as uh, styling wise, they're so similar to those Proenza ones. So I wouldn't know. I maybe I would reach for the Dot Martins more, but there'd be no point in me having both. 
So it sort of turned out to be a blessing in disguise, but I did mess up the sizing, so don't make that mistake. A, um, one second, who is calling me? Hello? Sorry about that, guys. It was an unknown number, so I didn't want to miss it. Um, so Amazon. Yeah, so the, the shoes, don't make the mistake that I did. The men's sizing does not convert over directly to women's sizing. Uh, so for the other things as part of the Amazon project, I've got two t-shirts. One I'm wearing, so both are from Selected Femme. I don't know if you guys remember when I did the white t-shirt testing basics back in the summer. The Selected Femme one did really well. I can't remember where it ranked, but I just remember really liking it, the white one. Uh, so this is the exact same as the white one, but in black. They're just really good, lightweight cotton t-shirts. They're about £14. Really, really recommend them, so I thought I'll get that in black. And then I also picked out this long-sleeved one, a long-sleeved Breton stripe one. Um, which is a much thicker material with really nice long sleeves, really simple, a great neckline, just really like it. I actually, I think I've got one Breton tee from Uniqlo which is mostly white with thin blue stripes as opposed to this being quite as even as this. Uh, well actually the blue stripes are a bit bigger on this one. Uh, but it's just such a classic and I like the fact it's long sleeved and it's coming up to the time of year where long sleeve t-shirts will hopefully be worn more often if the weather stops being quite so cold and windy and um, so those are the two t-shirts and then I got two pairs of jeans I've got a lot of denim in this video so I got two pairs of Levi's jeans these are the 501 cropped and I've never had this pair before which I don't know how I've managed to not have this pair because you guys know I have had a lot of Levi's in my time um, I got them in the washed black and in this blue which is quite an intense mid wash blue the same mid wash as that I have in the rib cage from Levi's. I got them both in a waist 25. They both fit brilliantly, and I'm surprised I've managed to overlook this style of jean for so long. I think it's because I have so many 501s, well, not so many, but maybe three pairs, different vintage ones, and the fit's always quite different. And so I always think, oh, 501, just go vintage because they're, you know, you can get some amazing ones. But these are really, really, really good. A really good fit. Um, in both of them, a really nice leg length, leg length is what I'm trying to say. Not cropped at all, even though they're called the 501 crop. Initially, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's going to be like too cropped on me to wear in the winter with boots and things, which is the problem I have with the rib cage ones. Uh, but they're they're brilliant. They're both so 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 good, and they're getting huge huge thumbs up from me. As you'll see in the cutaway, they just fit really well. Um, so this was a success and I will wear them both a lot going forward. So I was pleased with that. Um, and then the final thing I ordered from Amazon were, and it was a new pair of sunglasses. I have these ones in the tortoiseshell and they are some of my all time favorites. I think they're so flattering. I don't really suit that many styles of sunglasses. I like to think that I do, but reality, reality and my track record with ordering anything except sort of like a Wayfarer style sunglass has just been like, you look like an idiot in those. So I'm gonna to stick to what I know from here on in. The tortoiseshell ones, I have worn to death. I also have a black pair of classic wayfarers. These are called Club Masters. And now these, and I love them, and we'll wear them loads. So that was a very successful collaboration with Amazon Fashion. Obviously I picked everything, they gave me a voucher. Uh, well, very successful except for the Dot Martins. But like I said, the, a silver lining has come from that. Um, the next project, I'm gonna stick on projects while we're here. The next project that I did was one with Everlane. Uh, oh, that was an awful noise. Again, this was based around denim. Uh, I'm wearing one pair of them now, but they, they sent me two pairs in two different washers. These are called, am I gonna get this wrong? The High Rise Straight Jean. Are these called that too? Yeah, that is, uh, they'll be linked in the description box as well. So again, as I did with Everlane and Testing Basics, I went down a waist size, so I have them both in a 25 regular leg length. They also do them in a short leg length. The ones that I used in Testing Basics were called something like the cheeky, mid-rise, vintage, something like that. Um, I can't remember exactly the order of the words. These, even though they're called something different, are identical, I would say, to the ones that I did in Testing Basics, which were mid-wash pair, um, and fit great. I would say, the ever because obviously I've got two very similar pairs of jeans here with the Levi and now the mid-wash Everlane. There's a slight difference in the colour. The Levi is a stiffer, heavier denim that sits straight through the leg. You'll be able to see this better on the cutaways. It sits straight through the leg, straight through the hips. It's fitted on the bum, but not quite as bum-hugging. 
Whereas these have got a slight bit of stretch in them, so they really hug your bum. They're still a straight leg, but slightly slimmer through the leg. Very similar in length. I think these probably are coming up a little bit shorter than the Levi's. Um, there's, it's much of a muchness between them. I would probably say I am airing in preference for the Levi's in this instance. Um, just because it's got that bit much of a straighter leg. I, re I really like how they look and I've been since I got both of these pairs I've been reaching for the Levi's more but these are great if you wanted something with a bit of stretch in them so it's a bit more flattering over the bum then I would give these a thumbs up and then I also have them in the white which I'm wearing right now um I really like these they're really 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 good white jeans and I think finding white jeans can be really difficult and these are a bit of a winner um and I wore them and well, I shot the content which was content for Instagram for this sponsorship um, in Tenerife at the moment. Mum was like, oh God, those jeans look lovely about these white ones. So these were a big success, both of the jeans. Like I said, waist 25 straight in both of those. For the styling, like the post, I keep saying, like I said, the post, the sponsored post with Everlane was focused on um, the denim but I needed things to style it with. So I picked this really great, I'm so chuffed with this, knitted tank top. It's ever so soft, but I don't think it's 100% cashmere. But it's very, very, very soft. Um, it, oh, it is 100% cashmere. So it's a little cashmere cream tank top. It's so nice. I just know how much wear I'm going to get out of this. I have one from Arquette. Some of you guys might remember it that I wore so much last summer, which was like a really thick ribbed tank top. Um, but it wasn't knitted. It was just like a thick, stretchy cotton. Uh, in a cream as well and just wore it so 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 much so I'm pleased to have something with a very different texture to it and which is less fitted than that one it's still quite tight over the boobs and everything but it's just a different fit I wore this in a night out in Paris with some high-waisted Chloe trousers my black ones I've had for ages and felt so sexy in it like with just no bra on it felt so comfortable and easy and effortless and just really good so this got a big thumbs up um, and the, oh, the other thing that Evelyn sent me was some shoes to style with, which have also already been rehomed. Um, I'll insert the picture that I, from, um, the, from the, oh my God, help me. I need to get a coffee after this. I will insert the picture that I put on Instagram here because lots of you guys ask questions about the shoes. They're really nice. Um, the sizing was way off. So I had them in a size 40, which is my normal size. They were fitting even, I mean, definitely like a size six. So like I said, I'll certainly insert a picture of them here and put um, a link for them in the description box because they're really, really, really nice. Like a little really soft leather, slim back, tiny heel, just re a really good shoe, but you need to go one size up. And I would even go as far to say, if you have wide feet, then don't go near these shoes. They just won't work for you. They're just a really small and slim fitting shoe, which is often the case with Everlane. Although the sandals I have from them that I wear loads, isn't hasn't been hasn't been the case at all um i really like those these shoes and would definitely consider ordering them again not right now because the weather's not permitting when it gets a bit warmer but i would definitely need to get at least a size eight in them um because they were such a small fit so that's just another sizing heads up Whew. okay moving on um i bought a top which i think i'm going to return i talked about this in my vlog on wednesday so i'll make this bit quite brief but this is from Matto. I bought it because I've been working with Netapult on a loaning basis and they loaned me it and I loved it so I bought it. However, I haven't worn it. Like I took it away with me twice and on both occasions when I was trying it on with things was like, well, there's something just not quite right about it. So for that reason, I think I'm going to send it back and order a dress, which again was in the vlog on Wednesday instead. I'll leave a link for this vlog in the description box. Um, I'm actually, it's actually, this is going to be picked up to be sent back to Netapult tomorrow, but because I still had it with me, I thought I would... Give it a very brief mention. Um, the other thing I bought, which was my big purchase of the month, is a jacket from Totem. Um, I saw this online and it was a bit of an impulse purchase for me, which is something that I haven't been known to do on Totem before because it's a brand I'm so confident with um, in terms of just how much I love their stuff. It's so beautiful. Saw this and was like, oh, but still my beating heart is so good. This is a black boucle jacket. It's very heavy, very, very heavy. It's pretty pricey. Well, not pretty, it's very pricey. It's about 700 pounds. Um, and when I ordered it, I was like, God, that's like leather jacket realm of pricing. 
and this feels like lo looks like it was just gonna be a lightweight jacket then it arrived and it is not a lightweight jacket it's like coat thickness and heaviness but in a jacket um, and then it's just got these four pockets. I've been traveling loads in this and just like having passport and phone and AirPods and everything. It's been so practical. Sorry guys, I just had to pause it. There's some kids playing in some of the gardens at the back of the house. So if you can hear children's voices, do not be alarmed. Um, yes, yeah, so it's got these four pockets, which is super practical. And then this sort of really clever, like pleated ruching detailing down the back of the arms, which give it such an interesting silhouette. It's so simple, so easy to wear. I've been reaching for it non-stop. Really warm, thankfully, um, and just beautiful. Like, I, I've worn it so, so, so much this month. The quality of it's gorgeous. Again, like, all the detailing and the finishing is just beautiful. And I also have just brought it out in, like, a khaki colour, which looks, obviously, a lot more like an army jacket. Um, but, yeah, big thumbs, thumbs up to this. I'm so, so chuffed that I got this one. Uh, and then the other thing I bought this month uh, it was just a hoodie, <laughs> not super exciting. This is from weekday. I bought this literally a couple of days ago. Oh, I bought this in March actually. Oh, well, we're here now, so I'll keep it in February. Um, and I already have got something down it because I've cooked a Sunday roast while wearing it. Just a really simple, cozy hoodie to have on around the house and also leave the house in and feel really good in. Um, I don't have many. I don't have any hoodies like this actually, which are just the classic fleecy on the inside, soft and smooth on the outside. Very pleased with it, got it in a size small. Next, um, something that I forgot to include in the last month's one, which was something that I bought in January. I, actually, I bought it before Christmas, I bought it in December. I forgot to feature it, and then went away and wore it loads, and so it's reminded me I need to talk about this. Is this men's gap shirt. You'll see in the cutaway, this is fresh out the washing machine, out the tumble dryer even. It really barely creases, which is in my books an absolute godsend because I hate ironing. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is a men's. I have it in a size large. It's quite a thick cotton, but it is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant shirt. I love it so much. I've been wearing it under jumpers. I wore it on holiday over a bikini. I've been wearing it on its own. It's just great really 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 good purchase and like i said one that i did before christmas but um overlooked in videos okay we're on to the last few things i promise i was gifted this month from and other stories this really cute cardigan i've seen it quite a lot on instagram and i was influenced by it all and thought i want this cardigan um it's kind of a bit sexy which i quite like it's a cropped very tight fitting ribbed cardigan um with a little see-through buttons which is super super cute you probably won't be able to see that but you just have to take my word for it they are really lovely um and it leaves like they're, they're like a hook and eye fastening that's not a hook and eye anyway a fastening like this so it leaves a bit of a pull when you've got it on and it's stretched tight over your body um it's just really cute i really like it i think it will look really good with it's quite cropped so for me i don't really like getting my midriff out so i'm better to wear it with very high-waisted jeans the levi column jeans that i featured in last month's fashion report like meet this perfectly and things like the philip k suit trousers which were in testing basics work really well with this so this has been a very nice little gifting thank you under the stories i really think it's just like a nice amount of sexy too I did a sponsored Instagram post with Seven for All Mankind, so again, Den in Focus. Often brands do things seasonally, um, which is why there's so much denim content, well, coming from me at the moment anyway. And it's there's sort of no way around doing it because it's all brands that I like and want to support and want to share, and they all have similar messaging at a similar time. And when you're posting on Instagram and things, you have content padded around it. I don't think it's as notice noticeable as when I'm talking about it in a video like this, but these are the whole points of the videos to be transparent with things. So I did, the, the, oh my gosh, I desperately need coffee. Um, Seven for All Mankind is my mum's favorite denim brand. She absolutely loves them and like always wears Seven for All Mankind jeans. These are a cropped style and they are a little bit too cropped for me if I'm honest. They would be, well, they are to wear with boots. It's similar to what I said about the ribcage ones when I did testing basics for that. Really great summer jean because they look great with loafers, great with sandals, great with trainers. But any boot or anything I want to wear with a sock, there's just going to be a gap between the sock or the boot and the jean, which isn't a look that I personally like. 
Um, but this works out quite well with these because they're a much lighter weight denim. They're still not mega stretchy, it's still got a really good structure to it, but even them being a lighter wash just loans them more to spring summer styling. And um, they are so flattering around the waist and the bum, like ridiculously flattering. They just fit so well and just hug in all the right places and I think it's because it's got that bit of stretch in it. Um, they're called, these are called the Lux Vintage Jeans. Um, I have them in a waist 25 again. If you were a bit shorter than me, I'm five foot eight, then I would give these a huge thumbs up because I think the length, it could be an all year round length then because you could wear them with your boots and then also wear them with your sandals. Whereas for me, it's going to be a bit more summer focused, but the fit on them and the way they fit through the hips is really, really impressive. I'm super impressed with them. Um, okay. Two more things, two more new things, two pairs of shoes. I did a shoot with the Outnet this month with Lindsay, which was really exciting. Um, we had to, we posted some content on Instagram and they've been posting them on their Instagram. And we each picked out three outfits and the, the items in the outfits were loaned, except the shoes because we shot street style imagery. So we shot outside. It was the weekend of Storm Dennis, or maybe it was Storm Chiara, one of the storms. And so we were literally being blown sideways. So obviously they can't, they can't return the shoes because they've been worn outside and it had been worn walking through puddles this time around so we got to pick keep the shoes that we picked i picked two pairs the first were these pair of brogues which are from giuseppe zanotti not a shoe brand that i associate with a brogue um they're really nice they are way more comfortable than my churches which are also patent brogue they're a bit chunky than those as well they still don't quite feel as classic as the churches ones and they actually have this i think is it called broguing detail actually i don't is that what makes it a brogue i don't know but you know what i mean they're like a punchy bit um punchy crinkly bit let's say that uh yeah they are so comfy because i've literally obviously worn them the day that i got them always risky and as opposed to the church's ones which i have worn so many times and whenever i take a break from them and put them back on my feet i'm like oh jesus we're back to square one these were comfy from the get-go really nice chunky sole really 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 impressed with them i will link put a link to them on the outnet if they are still available and the other pair which i have on my feet right now some loafers from philip lim these white leather loafers i want you to be able to see how soft this leather is they're like wearing slippers they are so comfortable and they also have that kind of step down detailing at the back which i personally never really opt for with shoes always wear them full um i can't wait to wear these loads in the summer i wore them a little bit when i was on holiday but haven't had much opportunity to uh since then my only concern is from the few wears that they have had they've become quite scuffed um i guess it's just because it's such soft supple white leather soft supple white leather say that fast 10 times um, it won't desperately be very hard wearing, which is unfortunate. So as I keep, as I get more opportunity to wear them, go through the spring and the summer, I will let you know how they hold up in terms of um, the wear and just the quality of them as well. But they are so comfy. It's ridiculous. That concludes all the new stuff. I just wanted to do a quick overview of the things that I feel like I've worn the most through the past month. The totem jacket would definitely be one of those things, which I already mentioned. Another thing... Um, have been these Proenza Shula shoes. This month I did both Copenhagen and Paris Fashion Week and London, well one thing in London, but I wore these nearly all through Paris and all through Copenhagen because I have successfully broken them in. It took quite some time and quite some perseverance and quite a lot of compy blister plasters, but we got there and I can now walk all the live long day in them and be perfectly comfortable. And I'm very, 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 very chuffed. Um, I love them. Definitely some of the most favorite shoes that I've had over the past few months. And they look great with everything. I'm really enjoying wearing them in evenings and just how sort of effortless and cool they look. But obviously also daytime with denim and things like that. They've just been such a great shoe. So I've worn these loads. I also went to Tenerife for a week and didn't really take these off my feet. My dear Francis slides from last summer. Um, I feel, I don't want to jump the gun, but I feel this summer I'm going to be more into the chunky sandal as opposed to the skinny strappy sandal, which is what I wore a lot of last year. Um, whereas these I think might reign supreme. They are just so comfy and they're so good. Go look with everything, look great with like trousers, shorts, denim shorts, dresses, you name it. They work with it. So big thumbs up to these. And finally, the Arquette blazer, which was in last month's fashion report. I um, wore this loads and loads and loads, again through Paris, again when I was in Tenerife, 
just loads. It's like the perfect amount of oversize. Also, especially in Paris, it's got a huge amount of compliments on it, like well, at least one a day, which feels like a lot, especially over Fashion Week. Um, but it's just such a great fit. So I really, really, really recommend it to anybody who's in the market for a black blazer. Really great fit. As always, Arquette do so well with the quality of things and for such a great price point as well. So big thumbs up. This I have been wearing a hell of a lot. That concludes this long video. I knew this month was going to be an absolutely brutal one. Um, March shouldn't be as intense as this work-wise. Famous last words. Well, I'm so grateful for it. I would never be ungrateful for getting work. And like I said, it's all with brands that I'm really proud to be working with. So it's all really exciting. And I am really enjoying like doing that work. Most of it sits on Instagram for me, most of my paid work, but then being able to talk through on here a little bit more. So I hope you have enjoyed. Links for everything will be in the description box and I will see you in the next one.